வணக்கம் நேர்களே மெட்ரோபிளக்ஸ் தமிழ் சங்கம் வந்து நிறைய விஷயங்கள் இங்கு உள்ள தமிழர்களுக்காக இப்போ அதாவது வேற ஒரு நாட்டில் நம்ம இருக்கிறோம் அப்படின்ற ஒரு எண்ணமே வரக்கூடாது அப்படின்றதுக்காக என்ன பண்றோம்னாக்கா நம்ம தமிழ் தமிழர்களை இணைப்பதற்காக பல செயல்கள் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கிறோம் ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கும் பொழுது இப்போ புதுசா ஒன்று ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்காங்க இது ரொம்ப ஒரு பியூட்டிஃபுல்லான ஒரு விஷயம் என்ன அப்படின்னாக்கா கார்டனிங் எப்படி பண்றது நம்ம இருக்கிற இடத்த வச்சுக்கிட்டு வீடு இருப்பவர்கள் வீட்டில் பண்ணலாம் இல்லைன்னா அதாவது அப்பார்ட்மெண்ட் அந்த மாதிரி சின்ன சின்ன ஏரியாலாம் இருக்கிறவங்கலாம் எப்படி வந்துட்டு கார்டனிங் பண்ணலாம் விதையும் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க நீங்க வாங்கி அதெல்லாம் ட்ரை பண்ணிட்டு இருப்பீங்கன்னு நினைச்சோம் சரி இதை மட்டும் கொடுத்துட்டு சும்மா விட்டுட்டோம்னா என்னென்ன பண்ணணும் எப்படி பண்ண வேண்டும் அப்படின்ற ஒரு சில விஷயங்கள்லாம் நல்லா தெரிந்த ஒரு ஆட்களை கூப்பிட்டு நம்ம மக்களுக்காக பேச சொல்லலாம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இங்க தாரா அப்படின்றவர்களை கூப்பிட்டு வந்திருக்கோம் தாரா நீங்க வந்துட்டு உங்களுடைய செஷன் ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் கண்டிப்பா வணக்கம் எல்லாருக்கும் என் பேர் தாரகராம் என்னுடைய மிஸ்டர் சரஸ்வதி இந்த மீட்டிங்ல எங்க ரெண்டு பேரையும் கூப்பிட்டு பேச சொன்னதுக்கு எம்டிஎஸ்க்கு மிக நன்றி இன்னைக்கு செஷன்ல போயிடலாம் நான் என்னோட ஸ்கிரீன் ஷேர் பண்றேன் பாலா ஸோ கார்டனிங் பத்தி நம்ம பேசணும்னா அரை மணி நேரம்ன்றது வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ரொம்ப ஒரு இக்கட்டான ஒரு ஸோ கார்டனிங் பத்தி நம்ம பேசணும்னா அரை மணி நேரம்ன்றது வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ரொம்ப ஒரு இக்கட்டான ஒரு கால அவகாசம் ஏன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு ஒரு டாப்பிக்குமே நம்ம வந்து ஒரு ரெண்டு மணி நேரம் பேசுகிற அளவுக்கு வந்து விஷயங்கள் இருக்கு பட் கொடுக்கப்பட்ட இந்த முப்பது நிமிடத்தில் என்ன பேச முடியுமோ அதை வந்து எங்களால் முடிஞ்ச வரைக்கும் உங்களுக்கு நாங்கள் கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அதில் உங்களுக்கு டவுட்ஸ் இருந்ததுன்னா பாலா சொன்ன மாதிரி நீங்கள் மெசேஜ் அனுப்பலாம் ரீச் அவுட் பண்ணலாம் எங்களை ரொம்ப டீட்டெயில்ஸ் அதை பற்றி கேட்கும்போது உங்களுக்கு ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் பட் இன்னைக்கு நம்மளுடைய அஜெண்டா எதை பற்றி நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறோம்னா மூணு விஷயத்தை பற்றி பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஒன்று வந்து பிளானிங் பிளானிங்கிறது போது ஒரு பிகினர்ஸ் புதுசாக வந்து ஒரு கார்டனிங் ஆரம்பிக்கிறவங்க என்னென்னலாம் வந்து அவங்க வந்து மைண்டில் இருக்கணும் முதல் எங்கே வைக்கப்போனோம் எதை வைக்கணும் எப்படி வைக்கணும் அதுதான் வந்து பிளானிங்கில் வந்து முக்கியமாக தெரிஞ்சிக்க வேண்டியது ரெண்டாவது ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் ப்ரிப்பரேஷனில் முக்கியமானது நம்மளுடைய மண் சாயில் ப்ரிப்பரேஷனை பேஸ் பண்ணி தான் உங்களுடைய வளர்ச்சியும் ப்ரொடியூஸும் இருக்க போகிறது அதனால் அதை எப்படி நீங்கள் வந்து ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணி நீங்கள் ரெடி பண்ணணும் ஒரு காய்கறி வளர்க்குறதுக்கு முன்னாடி மூன்றாவது வளர்த்தால் மட்டும் போதாது அதை எப்படி பாதுகாக்கணும் அதை தெரிஞ்சால் மட்டும்தான் உங்களாலே வந்து வெற்றிகரமாக ஒரு ஒரு பழத்தையோ ஒரு காய்கறியோ ஒரு கீழையோ நீங்கள் எடுக்க முடியும் இல்லைன்னா நல்ல வளர்ச்சி இருக்கும் பட் நீங்கள் சரியாக பராமரிக்காததுனால அது வந்து பாலா வரத்துக்கு சான்சஸ் அதிகம் அதனால இந்த மூணு டாபிக் இன்னைக்கு பேச போகிறோம் நம்ம ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பிளானிங் பிளானிங்கில் வந்து அதுக்கு முன்னாடி வந்து முதல்ல நம்ம ஏன் கார்டன் பண்ணணும் எதுக்கு தோட்டத்தலை தோட்டம் போடணும்ன்றத வந்து நம்ம முதல்ல புரிஞ்சுக்கணும் ஏன்னா கார்டனிங் வந்து இருக்கிற டேட்ல வந்து நம்ம சீட் போட்டு வள வைக்கிறது இல்லை இதுல வந்து கொஞ்சம் நிறைய நம்ம டைம் நிறைய ஸ்பெண்ட் பண்ணுவோம் பிளஸ் நீங்க மணியோ ஸ்பெண்ட் பண்ணுவீங்க ஸோ எல்லாமே பண்ணிட்டு ஒண்ணுமே ஈல்ட் ஆகலனா நம்மளுக்கும் கஷ்டமா இருக்கும் அந்த இன்ட்ரெஸ்டும் போயிடும் ஸோ முதல்ல ஏன் கார்டனிங் வந்து ரெடி பண்ணணும்ன்றத வந்து புரிஞ்சுக்கணும் கார்டனிங் ஏன் பண்றோம் அப்படின்னா நம்மளுக்கு வீட்லயே வளர ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் எல்லாமே வந்து நம்ம என்ன போடுறோம் தெரியும் முதல்ல வந்து கார்டனிங் வந்து ஃபீட் யோர் சாயில் டு ஃபீட் யோர் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் அண்ட் பிளான்ட் ஃபீட் பண்றதை விட உங்க சாயிலை ஃபீட் பண்ணுங்க அப்படின்னு தான் வந்து முதல்ல வந்து கார்டனிங் எந்த ஒரு ஒரு கார்டனிங் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் யார்கிட்ட பேசினாலும் முதல்ல அதுதான் ஒரு அட்வைஸா கொடுப்பாங்க ஸோ உங்களோட மண் வந்து ரொம்ப வளமா இருந்தா தான் உங்களோட வெஜிடபிள்ஸோ இல்ல ஃப்ரூட்ஸோ எது வளர்ந்தாமே வந்து நல்ல நியூட்ரிஷனா இருக்கும் ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல்லா ஸோ அந்த மண்ணை ரெடி பண்றதுக்கே உங்களுக்கு வந்து அட்லீஸ்ட் நம்ம ஒரு ஆர்கானிக்கா போறோம் எதுக்கு ஆர்கானிக்கா போறோம் நம்மளுக்கு வந்து வெளியில வைக்கிற காய்கறிகள்லாம் என்ன கலந்து என்ன உரங்கள் கலந்து நம்மளுக்கு வருதுன்னு தெரியாது அதுக்காக தான் வந்து நம்ம வீட்டுல வளர்க்கணும் சின்ன ஸ்பேஸா இருந்தாலும் சரி பெரிய ஸ்பேஸா இருந்தாலும் நம்ம மண்ணை வந்து நல்லா ஃபீட் பண்ணி நல்லா வளமா கொண்டு வந்துட்டோம்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் நம்ம ஃபீடு என்ன வேணாலும் நீங்க அதுல போடலாம் நல்ல வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் நல்லா கிடைக்கும் தரமான வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் ஏதோ காய்க்கணுன்றதுக்காக ரெண்டு ரெண்டு பூ விட்டுட்டு ஒரே ஒரு காய் காய்ச்சிட்டு போகாம நல்லா வந்து அதை த்ரூ அவுட் க்ரோயிங் சீசன் வந்து ரொம்பவே நல்லா இருக்கும்னு வச்சுக்கோங்க அந்த பிளான்ட்டும் சரி பிளான்ட்டும் ஹாப்பியா இருக்க
ஒரு ரெண்டே ரெண்டு இது விஷயம் சொல்றேன் மண்ணு வந்து நார்மலா நாங்க ஃபார்மிங்ல எல்லாம் என்ன பண்ணுவோம் அப்படின்னா பெரிய இல்ல அதுதான் சின்ன இதுதான் சொல்லிடலாம் பண்ணலாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா வந்து மண்ணுக்கே வந்து ஃபீட் பண்ணுவோம் ஸோ இப்போ வந்து நம்மளுக்கு இது பிகினர்ஸ் கார்டனிங் டாபிக்ன்றதுனால நம்ம சாயில பத்தி பின்னாடி வந்து வருது ஸோ அதுல வந்து கொஞ்சம் டீட்டெயிலா பார்ப்போம் இப்போ வந்து வி கோ வித் அலாங் வித் அஜெண்டா ஸோ வி ஓன்ட் டிஸ்ட்ராக்ட் வித் டாபிக் டாபிக்கை விட்டு வெளில போகாம அழகா முடிச்சிடும் அந்த இல்லைன்னா நம்ம நடுவில் நிறைய பேசி பேசி டைவேட் ஸோ பிளானிங்கில் வந்து மூணு டாபிக் கவர் பண்ண போகிறோங்க முதல் வந்து ஸ்பேஸ் டைரக்ஷன் அண்ட் சைஸ் அது என்னன்னு பார்க்கலாம் ரெண்டாவது என்ன வந்து எக்ஸ்கியூஸ் மீ இஃப் டோன் மை கேன் ஸ்பீக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் ப்ளீஸ் ஐ டென் நோ தட் தேர் ஆர் நான் தமிழ் ஸ்பீக்கிங் பீப்புள் அரிய இருந்த கால் சாரி அபவுட் தட் ஷியூர்லி வில் டாக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் பாலா ஐ திங்க் இட்ஸ் ஓகே ரைட் பாலா ஓகே இட்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் ஸோ Yeah, thanks for letting us know. Otherwise, we would have been talking in Tamil. Um, thanks yeah. for letting us know. So, there are three major topics that we are going to cover in this agenda. Because gardening is a vast subject and you can talk for hours and days about this gardening. And when it comes to beginners gardeners, we want to restrict the topics to three things. One is planning. Second is preparation. The third is plant care. So, in, under the planning, the three topics what we are going to talk is space, direction and space, uh, size. Second is, what vegetables that you are going to grow in your garden. Third, as it grows, what kind of support and structure that you need to have for growing your plants. These are the three things that we are going to talk in planning. So, let's, let's look at space, direction and size. When I say space, it's about how much space you have to do your gardening. It doesn't matter whether you live in a house with a big backyard or a small backyard or you live in a apartment with a small size patio it doesn't matter the interest and how to grow the plant if you know i think you can definitely be successful no matter what space you have with you that's why we wanted to talk about the space second point under the space always make sure you leave enough space for you to walk in between the plants so that you can access your plants you can touch and feel your plants you can see what's happening to your plants and it will be easy for you to harvest as well so leaving a space between your garden beds or between the pots or between the containers it definitely makes sense as it grows when you're planting it might not be that important but the moment it grows you will feel what i'm talking about now and so consider the space and also you have to consider the uh, plants what you're going to put because the uh, 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 big plants that like uh, avare or uh, papri that alone will grow very big so you have to plan accordingly to play, place your seeds also so that will make your garden to have the correct sunlight that's where the direction comes there yeah so the next one what i want to talk about is the direction the direction is very important in because sunlight is most important um a uh, thing for plants to grow so depends on the sun direction the, the movement of the sun in your backyard or in a patio wherever it is you 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 have to place your plants there are certain vegetables doesn't need much of sunlight but there are certain vegetables that need sunlight so you have to make sure what vegetables you are planting where that's another important thing the third one so once you start deciding to plant, grow the plants where you want to grow whether is it going to be in a grow bag or is it in a container or is it in a raised bed or it in a elevated bed so these are all the different type of um uh, the, the the pots or the containers where you can yeah, grow yes. methods to grow um in, if you don't want to grow directly in your ground so there are multiple advantages for this when you or when you uh, grow your plants in your raised beds or in a containers there is a very good drainage system built in this in this method because when you whenever you water the the drainage system automatically pulls the water down and it retains only the water what is required for the plants to grow the second thing is the grow bag the grow bag the importance of grow bag is is i don't know how many people know the air aeration is is much more in grow bags compared to any other methods that you see air aeration will helps the roots to 
automatically penetrate and move within the self pruning it is called it automatically prunes and penetrates within the space what it has but in the container whether it is a mud or a plastic container whichever you are planning to grow you always take care of your roots because it tend to get root bond root bond means the roots will just get in vines and it will get too thick at the bottom you will see mostly in uh, curry plants once you grow your curry plants in the pot after 2 years if you pull and see the curry plant um, from the pot you will see how much of roots is bounded at the bottom that will not happen in your grow bag so these are all each type here has plus and minus so pros and cons so we can talk that as in separate thing but just to give you an idea please make sure the space the travel of your sun and the sunlight you get in your a uh, garden or wherever you are growing your plants and where you want to grow is it in your grow bag container raised bed or in the elevated bed it depends on that you can choose and you can start growing your plants and then the, for a direction you can suggest the south side is the best place to put your plants so uh, it's always advisable uh, for your plants is the early morning sun then the afternoon sun so if you are having a afternoon sun in your backyard then you have to uh, play cover it with some shade cloth or something to uh, save them from a lot, lot of sun energy because the plants the plants will be very happy when the sun is in the morning and it gets a lot of energy to grow where the evening sun will stress them and you need to water them very well to uh, adjust the you what what to say to help the plant you went uh, south or east you have to take care of the sun direction and you have to plan accordingly in our backyard we planted in southwest direction uh, my entire plant, uh, vegetable garden is in the southwest direction so it has a morning sun throughout the morning till the afternoon and my fence will cover the give shades to my plant in the evening so you have to work on that too yeah, because the, the point is the morning sun is more important than the afternoon sun what you get in your to, to, to get to the plants so yeah. you need to consider that we yeah, have to really help the plants to grow healthy without stressful bala was there a question bala and actually i mean uh, madam mentioned south i thought it's south or east but again she mentioned southwest so yeah okay so what to grow what vegetables to grow mostly people will grow something that they get from friends and uh, they buy from the shops and all that right so the most important thing grow what you like that is the most important then yeah. you will get automatically you will get interest yeah, to grow your vegetables yeah as a beginner vegetables. you always uh, like uh, love to grow what you family will like to eat so that will help you to know when the some plants even without much care they produce a lot and you will end up in giving to everyone and you don't know even though you give share with a lot of your friends you will end up with a lot of produce so always stick to our uh, plan accordingly what your family will like to eat and plan accordingly yeah to the ground and what we understood from mts is like they have distributed seeds to you so i want to talk a little bit about that so there are like 10 different seeds i think they distributed our eye rich god bitter god bottle god um okra murunge amaranth uh, gonkura tulasi and basil of this 10 five are vines when i say vines that will that need a, a kind of a support system to to climb to, to climb to and climb. to grow so the most important our eye rich god bitter god bottle god amaranth it all climbers amaranth amaranth is some some type of amaranth some, is not like some type i don't know what type of seed they have distributed but normally some amaranth will get as a climber some can grow as a plant as a as a small uh, a uh, plant. green plant um, it, it will be like that different types i'm not sure but in general these five seeds if you are planning to grow i will talk about that uh, what you need to do well in advance before it grows much bigger okay because it's going to take lot of space especially when it climbs it's going to capture everything what is next to it so you need to uh, consider yeah. that yeah. the second one uh, there are daily harvesting vegetables also you have in your list here okra 
because okra once it start growing you have to take care of the the vegetables on a daily basis otherwise it will get uh, to uh, mature and you cannot use it or yeah, cook it yeah not only that the okra is very easy vegetables to grow and you have to direct sow them uh, rather than uh, transferring uh, direct sowing is much easier uh, it, it will grow uh, into a healthy plant but and also it is very easy you will get a very early produce maybe in 7 to 14 days you will get your harvest from okra and also you have to be on on top of it when when growing okra because when the pot said it will get into very uh, it will get sooner to mature stage the evening or the next day morning so you always have to visit your garden frequently either in the morning and evening to harvest the okra the other 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 points what i have here let me quickly move there are several slides in this presentation i'll quickly move uh, other two important things as part of your uh, vegetable planning uh, is like uh, the spacing between the seeds. So um, I don't want to get into the details, but if you go and do some Google research for each of the seeds that you have, it will have a small um, like an indicator saying that at what distance you need to place the seed, how even, deep you need to place the seed. Even if you buy your uh, seeds from any uh, seeds uh, shop, or a seed packet, your seed packet contains all those details. It has uh, where to space and uh, how, how much distance and how deep you have to plant your, uh, put your seeds. So, so for example, I, this is a squash. I don't know whether you can see my, I don't know whether you can see my camera, Bala. Is it possible? If I'm, can someone? Okay, but, but still what I'm telling is, if this is a packet you're getting, the rear side of the packet, there are instructions given for each type of seeds. What is the spacing? Okay, yeah. How deep you need to pl uh, the, put the seeds, and how often you need to water, and what zone these plants will grow. All these uh, instructions are given in the rear side of your packet. So follow that instruction. That will help you. the The next one is when whenever you need uh, the plants to grow and produce. Pollination is important. We'll talk about that in the following slide. So what I'm trying to say here is plant some flowers, fl along with your flower plants along with your vegetables. The reason if you're having like uh, uh, the basil automatically attract bees. Okay. I don't know how many of you noticed it. Wherever you have basil, the bees will be automatically attracted. If, if you don't have basil, then you try to go for some marigold. Zinnia. No, not only that, the flowers will also help the plants to grow as a companion plants to keep the pest and the other disease away from the plants. For example, if you plant basil and marigold in the uh, tomato bed, it will, uh, some says the tomatoes will taste very good with basil and also it will, it will keep the pest and disease away from whatever the tomato plant has if you plant a lot of marigold around it. And, and also it attracts a lot of uh, pollinators and same it looks uh, beautiful when it's all go, grow together with a lot of colors. So, so the point here in this slide is you should know what you are growing, like what you grow. Um, second one is um, have some flowers along with your uh, vegetables so that it attracts uh, pollinators and also it helps as a companion plants for your other vegetables. So these are all the most important things and follow the direction for the seed, how deep you need to put your seeds in the ground because you cannot go more than like one inch or like half an inch and put a lighter layer of soil. The more deeper you put, it will struggle to sprout and germinate yeah, and it will, it will, it will die. So, and, 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 and there will be any question about if you are growing a vegetable in a container, whether we can put a flower plants. Of course, yes, you can plan accordingly about the size, how big the plant will grow. You have to, even your seed packet contains all those stuff. So you can uh, plan accordingly to put one flower plant along with your vegetable plant. So that will, it uh, serves the same purpose. Okay, the next topic is structure and support. This is another important thing. As the plant grows, it needs support. Otherwise, due to the wind, it will disturb the roots and it will shake the plant's growth. So you have to give good support for your plants. And, and based on what type of vegetables you are growing, the support structure will and vary. And not only that, if you are not providing any support, 
that that plant is going to take the other plant which stunt their other plant growth and uh, this one will grow vigorous and you will end up with only one plant growing in your thing where the others won't yield much and it's it's more like it's dominating over the other plants so you need a proper trellis and support to make them grow so the most important stru- uh, the most common structure that you will see is the tomato cage or the one you see in the picture so it gives uh, the rounded support for your plants so that it doesn't go go outside of this kind of a uh, the the rings that it has right so it can fit very well for your eggplant your bell pepper chilies tomatoes all that tomatoes there is different type of tomatoes if it is a plant or if it is a vine the structure will change look at this this is a vine type it's, it's a climber even a, even a plant type if you give a support like this this is going to grow because the tomato plant is very flimsy so it always uh, with a lot of uh, wind it's going to get stressed so this this structure will help them to grow yeah good and the more um, the, the climber vegetables as i said the rich gourd a uh, bitter gourd or the bottle gourd um, those kind of things that you are planning to do go for a stronger structure like the cattle panel or a kind of a arch structure what you see there because the the the, the vegetables will grow big and it's going to be weigh uh, it's going to weigh a lot so the structure should have enough support for the plants to um pro- the- pro- hold the vegetables this this will help them help the plant to grow vertically so it you will save a lot of space, lot of space. because you can also lay them on the ground what happened will take other space also so if your a trellis will also help to increase our vertical space growing space so uh, that's the other advantage of the trellis yeah so the next topic what i want to talk about is preparation under preparation there are three topics once again soil preparation planting method and irrigation water irrigation that's most important right so under soil preparation let's talk about what are the important things for for any gardening whether it is a plants or vegetables or fruits or flowers whatever it is soil plays a most important uh, thing in the growth because as as my wife said uh, feed your soil not your plant because the moment you feed your soil it will automatically give the required nutrition and whatever the uh, the need for the plant to grow it will automatically take the it from the soil take care of the plant yes the soil will automatically take care of your plants so the lack of healthy soil will will obviously result in a poor produce and also the impact of the the growth you can you can see very evident the third is the well drained and the dense of the soil and the capacity to hold the nutrition is most important thing because If, if some people put a plant in a container in a in a plastic container and they forget to put a hole in the plastic container so what happens is the water whatever they do the watering whatever they give to the container the water will stag under the pot and it will it has no place to drain the water so it will automatically spoil the root and your plant will die so drainage system is most important as i said before the dense of the soil is another important factor because not all vegetables need the same density of soil because the rooted vegetables like beetroot carrot uh, radish all root vegetables, all root vegetables uh, need a loose soil the soil should be much looser than the high dense uh, the normal soil so you need to keep that in consideration when you are trying to grow the root vegetable then the other vegetable plants then in texas mainly you will see a clay playing a major role in your ground right so if you are trying to mix something with the clay you should know what kind of mixture you are bringing into it and the last thing once you're done with your soil preparation and once the soil for example you can buy soil from the home depot lows like a uh, kellogs um miracle grow these are all the readily available rich good soil that you can get and you can start growing your plants the, if you want to buy in bulk texas pure is another place where i used to get soil it's a, it has different type of soils in it you can get it from there and uh, after setting up your soil then you think about organic matters that you need to bring into the soil don't try to mix everything at the beginning the organic matter comes little later in your plants growing stage than the beginner stage so what are the comp- what are the organic matters compost you must have heard about 
how to make compost there are different ideas and uh, things that you can bring in but what you shouldn't do under the compost don't put lemon or orange skins into citric your compost acid, citric, it citric creates acid. citrix it, it creates more of citrix uh, into your um, compost and that is not going to help your plants it's going to affect the growth and it will so I'm, I want to bring in some notice here. When Tara said uh, you don't put uh, organic matters when you are planting your thing, not like that. It's, it's what, what he meant to say is when you're planning, what we usually do when we are planning for a plant, we, uh, for a garden, we will uh, allocate a bed, we will prepare the bed, we'll add compost, manure, all the stuff and leave it for a month. So it will decompose and the power of the organic, uh, it won't burn the roots. Or the other method, what you can do, you can lay all the thing underneath of your bed. So for example, if you are growing a root vegetables, you can uh, amend your soil with all the organic material, material. And if you want to add bone meal, bone meal is to boost all your vegetable uh, fruits and vegetables. So you have to apply that underneath of your soil, then top it up with your garden soil, and then you can plant the seeds. When the seeds get ready to sprout, already your uh, the compost underneath the ground will get a little bit decay, and it will be good, perfect condition to hold the roots, and plant will get burned. That's the thing. That's, really that's what I was trying to say, because the timing is really important for adding the compost. When to add the compost and how to add the compost it really makes sense. That's why I said first get your soil done and then amend your soil with the organic yeah, matters. And well, even the plants, when plants is growing, you have to uh, put uh, wormy compost. That's all not going to uh, worm tea is not going to burn your uh, plants. If you are adding other manure, you have to put it uh, two or uh, maybe at least five inches away from your root ball of your plant. Yeah. And then you have to make a drench and put your compost and close it. So not too or very closer to your plant. That will burn your plant. And you may think, some people may think, I added fertilizer, but my plant looks so sick and it's not, not, not doing well. It's, it's become very stressful. You can, that's the reason. If you put it very close to the stem or the root ball, it's going to burn the plant. So you have to um, make, uh, you have to do uh, how to uh, put the, uh, fertilizer you need to have that planning before putting it yeah so let's moving bala i know we are running a little um uh, on yeah, a time constraint uh, we'll yeah, try yeah. to go as much as fast bala okay so yeah you yeah. can uh, no, uh, rush bro, if you want uh, uh, sir i have a question uh so uh, i have yeah, a question yeah, yeah we can, so we can I, have I, a question at the end of the session after the slideshow or post your question sure. here we will discuss sure. thank you yeah, thank you, Jake. Okay. Thank you. Right. So the method of planting is another important thing. There are different type of uh, planting, right? There is a transplanting, which is the most common thing what we do. We go to uh, nurseries here, we will get the plant and then we will put it in our container or in a garden bed. That is one type. Let's talk a little bit about the transplanting. So you can do the transplanting at home itself. Um, you, are like, you, are, you can grow your seeds from indoor, indoor and then the climate, you can move and it. then you can transplant to the bed. bed. So the first method is uh, you should have a grow lights and a small setup for the plant, the seeds to germinate and then to grow. That's the mini greenhouse we yeah. call. Planting method comes with two types. One is so you have to plant so outdoor and another one is so indoor. So you, it's it's what it does some vegetables can grow outside like warm vegetables you can put it directly but with our climatic condition it's we are not sure so for earlier yield for from april yield for tomatoes you can plant them indoor during last uh, week of january or first week of february to start indoor so if what happen if we plant the seeds in april it will take some time to grow and get you will get later uh, produce so you uh, the planning is uh, planning your sowing your seeds also plays a vast uh, importance. So for for that you can buy it from shop and also transplant. So 
do the same. If you're planning to grow one, two plants, you know, you don't need to go through all this effort. I'm just giving an example. What are the different types? Uh, if you're if you're happy to grow only like two eggplants and two tomatoes, it's better to go to a, a nursery nursery and get it and plant it. You will get a good produce. If you want to go in a little bit bigger scale, or you don't want to buy it from the nursery, you want to do it from the scratch. There are options. That's what we are talking here. The first option is the mini greenhouse. The second option is the paper towel method. Recently, Valala posted a very nice video. It was an amazing video that I have seen. So you can watch that video. That will also give an idea how the paper towel method really helps. It's nothing but a wet paper towel and keep the seed inside it and fold it and put it in a ziplock for a few days. After that, you will see the seeds are germinating. Once it's sprouted a little bit, then you can transplant that seed, germinated seed, into a, a small uh, a container, and then you can water it, and it will it will come. It will, it will uh, increase your success rate in growing. Correct. And the third method is the coir pit, a coir disc. Yeah, this, this is, is nothing but. Yeah. yeah no. This is this is more like a soil medium, not. Yeah, you can use it. Instead of a potting mix, you can use a coir disc. Coir disc, and it once you water the coir disc, it will it will expand. It will make it will be, it will be bigger in size, and put the seed inside it, and then directly you can put the coir uh, with the seed germinated into your garden bed. These are all the different types of transplanting, but there are pros and cons. You need to consider about the transplanting method. Let's quickly look at what are those. The pros are. Learning a continuous okay, okay, fine. So, the pros are you give a, you, it will give you a, a, a early start, as Saraswati said. Like, it, it, you don't need to wait for the weather and it will uh, outdoor for the change. You can start much in advance and it will create an ideal condition for the plant for the seeds to germinate and grow, and then you can transplant it so that you're getting a, a, a better growth, good yield, and it is more flexible for your weather. That's the pros. Yeah, and more, and another one for when you are uh, growing indoor, when you are growing uh, your own seeds indoor, when you are transplanting, there is other thing you have to consider. That's hardening uh, space where you have to keep your plants for two or three, introducing your plants to the sunlight to the other outer surrounding for two or three hours, and you're going to put the plants again inside, and you have to train your plants, your saplings to get used to the condition and then transplant after. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I mentioned in the first. Water, Second is the light. And the wind. third one is, um, as Sarah said, like uh, when it when you move immediately from the indoor to outdoor, the plants will try to get shock because of the wind and the sunlight and everything. So you have to train it to get them adaptable that's to your outdoor hardening. condition. That's the, that's that's the hardening. hardening. Yeah. Next is direct seeding. We spoke about the direct seeding a little earlier, but let me talk about it quickly. So. Before even seeding your plant, your your seeds in the direct, uh, directly in the ground, there are certain things you need to follow. Soak the seed. There are certain type of seeds like peas. Not to follow. It's more to for uh, uh, more uh, germination to increase the germination. Increase the germination you success can, rate. You can put the dry seeds in the soil, but you have to wait for another uh, two weeks to sprout, where the soaking and paper method, paper towel method will uh, make it. Easier and sooner. Sooner. That's the difference. Yeah. So, and then uh, there are there's other. There's a relevant question on uh, choosing the type of soil when you're seeding. I think it is very relevant. Can you answer that question, please? Yeah. So, there is a question on uh, what yeah, type of. We can. Uh, we can. No, I am noting down all the questions. Yeah, we can. We can. We can uh, I can. Uh, we, we can answer those after the session. So, it will be easier. In we the session. Yeah. Yeah. Already Definitely, I will answer your questions. Okay, so and then make sure that um, you, you are you are watering it well after you seed your uh, seeds in the ground directly. That's an important thing. There are pros and cons. Again, once again, as I said, uh, um, the, the, it will give a, a sturdy and gradual growth. But you have to harden it before you transplant into your ground so that it avoids shock into it. Uh, it gives a better drought tolerance because. The water, the, the soil content, and the water in the ground with the drainage system, it will help the plant to uh, get the water naturally from your bed uh, with, with whatever the regular watering you, you are doing to the plants. Uh, and the cons are obviously 
uh, you have to make sure if there is too much of wind or too much of heat in the Texas, you know how hot it will become in summer, right? Uh, uh, in, after transplanting, there are there are some chances for your plants to get get hit or get shocked with, with those kind of climate weather changes immediately. You but the, uh, you can uh, overcome with direct sowing. If you direct sow, the plant will already have the strength to withstand the wind and the, whatever the weather condition. Correct. So, and, and the, the last thing in the method of planting is stem cutting. That's it is uh, not propagating. propagation. Yeah. It's a plant propagation through stem cutting. Uh, not all plants require seeding, direct seeding and transplanting. Stem cutting is another important thing. I've given some examples here. Drumstick, most of the greens like ponangani, manatakali, even sugar cans, uh, fruit types like raspberry, blackberry. These yeah. are all some examples. Nature is very wonderful. So you can recreate all the plants what you see because it's very, it's more wonderful. You can cut the stem and plant it in the ground. It will grow. It will grow. Yeah. So that's what that's what we want to say. Not getting into too much of details. There are the third method of planting is the stem cutting propagation that will also help you to grow your plants. And plant propagation has three different type of layering. One is air layering, deep layering, and serpentine layering. Each is a vast topic. I can talk for for hours. But in a, in a simple manner, what I want to say is for jasmine plants. I don't know how many of you see now. The stem of a jasmine plant, if it get under the ground, <laughs> where the stem is touching the ground. Yeah, okay. even even with raspberries, without cutting, you can do uh, uh, that. That padiyam solvanga noorla, padiyam podradhena. So you can do that with your stick. Uh, you can put some, uh, keep a pot or put sa sand, and it will grow as it should. Yeah. So. Into a new plant. I, if people are interested about these things, we can talk later. It is not much important for, for the, the beginners. beginners yes. I'm just showing you these are all the different methods for you to be aware of. That's it. So irrigation. Watering is the most important thing, especially when you are living in uh, hot uh, weather uh, places like Texas uh, or at the, any, uh, the stages when the plants are growing, you know, watering is very important. Uh, and um, uh, doing hand watering is important for some time after that. Once the garden is growing big and when you have so many plants, hand watering will become a lot of hard work for you to spend time in your garden, morning and evening, things like that. So the recommendation is to put a drip irrigation so that it will automatically set a timer. Drip irrigation so yeah, can... automated. It will, be, it will give water to your plants as needed. So drip irrigation is one method where the water will drip and it will slowly release the water to your plants. No. Yeah, and not only uh, self-watering take a lot of time, the water, what we will go, uh, we're watering, will just drench the leaves also. That, right. that cause a lot of disease. Yes. So where the drip irrigation will help the, to overcome that. Right. And watering, when you're, you, if you are starting with only two containers and you don't have much, uh, much, in, much to do with irrigation, you have to water your plant early morning than the night. If it is in summer, you can do it little bit in a daytime in the morning and around uh, seven or before the sun dawn because yeah. it won't your plant won't sit in the water throughout the night and early morning watering will give energy for the plant to survey that to take that heat and yeah and then, what you yeah. shouldn't do is don't water in the in the afternoon time when, when the sun yeah, is when, when sun, sun is, is above water. you don't water your plants second don't water in the late evening late that nights. will late night um, after it is dark, it's not going to help your plant. So just keep that in mind. Morning watering is really good, or in the, in the little. In the summer evening, we usually uh, water twice a day. Twice a day. So uh, a morning, my schedule will be always seven in the morning and uh, around seven in the evening. Yeah. Six to six so, thirty. To so seven. you can imagine if the things are not automated, then you can imagine seven a.m. in the morning in a or weekday. Before that also will be good. Six a.m. Yeah. Also so will be good what I morning. what I want to say is seven a.m. in the morning for the working people, it's not possible during the weekdays, and you cannot miss that schedule. So try to automate it as much as possible with the drip irrigation, so it will help your plants. The next other two type of irrigation is the spray method and the OEA part. And yeah. these will uh, will give a deep watering, not, not like watering is just just pour water and come. You have to deep water your uh, plants 
maybe uh, three or four times in a week that will help your plants to grow yeah. very steadily so i don't know how many of you have noticed or you you have to watch this after watering your plants just dig the soil and see how much water has gone inside your soil most of the times 90% of the times we might be thinking that we watered well the soil has enough water but when you dig and see the soil you will not see the water gone below even like after 1 inch in the soil it will be too dry so slow and steady watering mm -hmm. method water. is is really helpful for the plants to grow the best method is these three methods the spray irrigation drip irrigation and the oya pot oya pot is the most traditional one it will it is it is something that you will see in youtube if you can do a search and you will find it what is all yeah. about but it is a slow and steady release in a more natural way okay plants have a tendency to extend its roots where the water source comes so this oya pot when you dip oh, yeah, when you put it inside the soil and uh, we did something like that so yeah. what happened the plants automatically fill the oya pot not the plants you have to water your oya pot, pot and then it will distribute the water yeah the plants the, the water. roots will go and search for the water and it will take whatever how much they need so the, the plants can create magic you can't you don't even you don't even we all don't even know what the plants can do the roots are so intelligent it can go and search for water by itself uh, and oya pot is one of the method that will really help the plants to grow so next the last topic is about plant care okay plant care is a most another important topic everything is important okay but this is most important you put all your hard work and effort in germinating your seed and you're making it to grow you put enough time to set up the irrigation and watering and all of that but if you are not taking care of your plants all your effort is gone for a task so Sarah, plant care is most important so uh, this is the last slide let us go a little fast because i was yeah. thinking about that yeah so the pest control mulching and regular checkup are the most important things in the plant care i want to talk about pest control you should know first of all don't get scared of the bugs in the garden okay because you will see good and bad bugs not everything what you see in the garden are bad there are several good bugs just giving a picture here i don't know how many of you have seen what is this if you if you know what is this you will not be afraid of it this is the ladybug caterpillar people buy ladybug for money in the shop but if you see something like this don't think it's something bad and don't try well, to kill it you have to be that. very happy that your garden is it's healthy, healthy. Yeah. to get these things it means your garden is healthy okay so know your bugs that is important the second is the moment you allow the the the, the, the bugs to be in your garden it creates lot of pollination in your garden there are uh, there so when, are when there is a uh, bad bug comes to your garden automatically a good bug will also will also come there. exactly that is the ecosystem created by nature so you don't want to worry but when it's going beyond the control then you have to take some yeah i'll give an example there is aphids aphids will destroy your plants okay there are bugs like ladybug uh, lace wings and uh, prey mantis these will automatically take care of your bad bugs in your plants yeah. so just be aware of that next is um, as part of the care giving the natural pesticides is always recommendable then going for a chemical or from the out of the shelf buying and applying it yeah. so what are those so you need to uh, see what are the options that you can create some pest control at home and there are some options we have given here there's a 3g three three solution is nothing but garlic uh, ginger and uh, uh, green chili green chilies that's a combination of that boil it and let it stay for a day and then you can dilute it and apply don't apply as a concentrated and then it's going to kill your, kill plant. your plant so uh, you have to you have to dilute even, it uh. whatever pesticides you are going to add even a pesticide or a fertilizer there has a limit you yeah. have to add the plant So yeah that one and then you will see lot of white butterflies coming in your garden that's the first enemy for you okay the moment you see a white butterfly with a black dot that's a cabbage butterfly that's going to destroy most of your leafy plants uh, like cabbage broccoli cauliflower all these things so you can take care of that with mixture of soap soap water baking soda oil mixture and spray it on top of it it will take care of that so try to go as much as 
homemade pesticides then buying yeah, it from the shop. Applying the for pesticides is not a one-time job. You have to be frequent. You have to apply regular, regularly. Yeah, regularly. Yeah. So that way it will keep the pest yeah. away. And, and direct anything is going wrong in your garden at the earlier stage. Don't leave it to grow as much bigger. Okay. The next is mulching. Mulching is most important for your plants to grow at a different stage. Don't put mulch when it is sprouting or germinating. Once it comes a little taller in your uh, in your garden, in your bed, in a container, start applying the mulch. The, the advantages is it, it is a cold and the heat barrier for your soil. It prevents weeds. It will automatically uh, decompose over the period of time and it will enrich the soil matters uh, and it improves the soil aeration. The soil aeration, what I mean here is, it will allow the required water and the hair to your to the roots of the plants, so it grows much better. Okay. For example, when you spray a water with your water hose or something directly to your plant, the water will go and disturb the soil, um, the, the foundation of the soil, and it will disturb the roots. But you if will you see the roots, sometimes. you will see the roots sometimes of the plants. But when you apply the water on top of the mulch then it will not disturb the root and it will slowly release the water to your soil okay and then visit your garden is a is another thing i want to tell very seriously to the gardeners whoever is starting and who are doing the gardening because your plan you have to talk and feel to your plants because they can feel your presence in the garden the more you interact you touch and feel they will grow really well and scientifically it has been proven and i have seen personally we both have seen personally how it worked so touch and feel your plants, observe any changes to your plants at the earlier stage. If there is a change in color, if there is a white line that is coming in your leaf, uh, leaf miner is a bug that is it is spoiling your leaves. So yeah, you have to, and uh, if your color changes to yellow, it's need of nitrogen. So it will show, your plant will show what they need. Correct. So uh, walk regularly, visit every day at least twice and see how your plants are doing. If there is any change in the leaves or the plant growth, you can you can understand what is the problem with going in it and you can address it at an early stage okay and then um identify any bugs and and try to destroy that knowing whether it is a good bug or bad bug is another thing as i said earlier keep that in mind i think watering we spoke earlier enough so i'm not going to touch about it so i think that's what I mainly want to cover, sorry, it took a little longer than, as I said, yeah, 30 minutes is tough. We just rushed with our topic. Yeah. yeah, you can ask. Go ahead, Bala. Okay. Um, uh, thanks for everyone uh, listening uh, patiently. Couldn't show over time I talk. Um, uh, anyhow, I, I didn't stop because very informative session and it's you know, very useful. That's one of the main reasons I didn't uh, you know, stop it. Um, so we have a couple of, I mean, several questions. Several questions, I'm sure. Some of them are answered already. And uh, let me open the chat. Oh, uh, Bala, before we oh, yeah. go to the Q&A, uh, Vitri has a quick announcement, and uh, we'll go to the Q&A. Yes. Okay. Um, you okay. can, Vitri. Yeah. Manakam. Manakam, manakam, Ramma, nandring, yeah. Tara, Mrs. Tara, this is the presentation ready Thanks all of you for joining and listening um, and also accommodating uh, requests. One small announcement. So, the Garden Club is in the garden club. சிறப்பா நம்ம அடுத்த ஜெனரேஷன் குழந்தைகளுக்கு போய் சேரணும்ங்கறதுக்காக ஒரு சின்ன போட்டியும் அறிவிக்க போறோம் நம்ம வளலார் அவர்களின் நமால்வார் அவர்களின் பிறந்த நாளை ஒட்டி ஏப்ரல் 6 நினைக்கிறேன் அன்னைக்கு வந்து இத அறிவிக்கலாம்னு என்னன்னா ஒரு விதைகள் கொடுத்துறோம் குழந்தைகள் இந்த விதைகளை வந்து கரெக்ட்டா சீட் பண்ணி யார் நல்லா அத க்ரோ பண்றாங்களோ அவங்களை அடையாளப்படுத்தி அவங்களை ஊக்குவிக்கலாம் அப்படிங்கறதுதான் சோ உங்களுக்கு சில சிறப்பு பரிசுகளையும் அறிவிக்கலாம்னு இருக்கோம் நினைக்கிற <laughs> உணவே மருந்து நல்ல இயற்கை உங்க இயற்கை வேளாண்மையை வந்து ஊக்குவிப்போம் 
ஹோம் கார்டனிங் பண்ணுவோம் நம்ம என்ன சாப்பிட்றோங்கிறது நமக்கு தெரியணும் அதுக்கு சிறந்த வழி நம்ம விளைவிக்கிறது தான் திருப்பி மிக்க நன்றிங்க தாரா அண்ட் மிஸ்ஸஸ் தாரா நன்றி எல்லாருக்கும் நன்றி அதான் நம்ம டீம் வந்து ரொம்ப என்ன சொல்றது ஆக்டிவாக ஒர்க் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க நம்ம தமிழ் மக்களை இணைப்பதற்காக என்னென்னலாம் பண்ணலான்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ தாரா அண்ட் மிஸ்ஸஸ் தாரா கொஸ்டின் போயிட்டு ஏற்கனவே ஆன்சர் பண்ணிட்டாங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் பட் நான் ரீட் அவுட் பண்றேன் ஒன் பை ஒன் Uh, in texas pure normal planting mix is good or we need to go for a powerful mix akila ilangovan ketrukanga inda kelvi yo normal mix um good da powerful mix vandu innu extra adala vandu irrigation they will add lot of material to drain your soil powerful mix la vandu ore or or material neenga paakalam adu peru enna nu paathina expanded shales expanded shales so okay i will i will talk in english in the powerful potting mix you will see a material called uh, expanded shales that will help you to uh, to to get better drainage in your water system and it will also give automatic decomposition after some time it's not like a stone it will decompose and will decay after some time and it will mix with your soil and gives better compost at a later point in time so uh, uh, what nutrition nutrition to the soil, to the soil. The so you can go with both what you what what you say but the uh, a uh, powerful potting mix as only striker advantages than the normal one that's it okay. yeah it will the scales inside the it's a scale is nothing but it's a uh, rock it will decompose by itself, by itself. and uh, give add a nutrition to your potting mix. yes okay. thank you so another question um alagu velan avanga ketrukanga i have the raised bed ready with garden soil and compost mix i am going to bury the seeds soon but when should i add when should i add npk i don't know what is npk you might know npk organic yeah, plant food bone meal etc before planting the seed or after uh, seeds uh, germinate during uh, sapling stage uh, for npk i am not sure ning what you are saying npk it's in a liquid form or in a solid form if you are going to add it in a solid form just go now and for potassium and uh, phosphorus you can just put a bone meal now itself mix it and uh, you can let it be at least take 10 days before you sowing a seed because on uh, nitrogen you can fix either by plants or by fertilizer uh, there are fish oil and uh, you can feed them regularly uh, bi weekly once so yeah that's yeah. the thing and, right? and timing is really matter when you are germinate when at the germination stage or like when it is slightly growing and sprouting stage don't apply too much of these kind of bone things bone meal and all will burn the plant burn so the plant. if so. you want to grow with some uh, nature uh, more uh, uh, unburning stuff like you can add worm casting it is not going to burn your worm plant. casting seedlings or anything so that will fix your nitrogen also in your uh, in your soil when it grows when you see uh, flowers and all those stuff you can you can add bone meal so one time uh, fertilizing your soil but you have to start well and before you are putting your seeds seeds but in between you can also add uh, uh, banana and eggshell water a lot of peel onion peel water to promote your flowers and uh, fruit growth but yeah it's, it's another big topic yeah, if you a... if you have much more detailed question reach us out we will explain you that much detail okay yeah, i think it's a good question and it's a uh, very good information the next question from uh, muhil kanan is potting mix alone is enough for the plant growing in pots or it should be mixture of some soil and potting mix if so please suggest some good soil and potting mix soil and uh, potting mix is uh, good because they always come with some manure all the stuff if you want to add uh, grow like root vegetables you can add soil so for drainage you can add either soil or perlite for your root vegetables perlite is nothing but that's an another uh, medium which will drain it's more work like a drain and there is another medium called vermiculite which works like a uh, coconut coir it will stack some water retain some water for your plants it will, so, it will loosen your soil and it will gets a better aeration and a drainage to your soil if you want so, to add some uh, if you want to grow some root vegetable please blow, go with some sand sand also you have to get a garden uh, sand garden sand because there is uh, some other sand which is uh, mixed with some uh, chemicals so Don't there in, in in more in hope to go and uh, loss you will get a soil which is especially for garden and vegetable 
So you can mix it. That will help your aeration and the water drain. Very good. The next question from uh, Uma Paneer Salon. Any suggestion on plant food and fertilizer for potted plants would be helpful. Thanks. Yeah, when, when for leafy vegetables and for an earlier stage of uh, growing, you can add a fish fertilizer or warm tea for uh, nitrogen. It will help to the plants to grow, the, which, which helps to grow your root as well, uh, roots as well as the leaves. So when the leaves get photosynthesis, it grows all. And when you see it starting the flowering stage and uh, uh, fruiting stage, you have to add um, uh, eggshell and wa sorry, a banana peel water. You just uh, soak the banana peel in the water for two or three days in a glass container, leave it outside in the sunlight and use that water, drain the banana peel and put it in the compost and use that water diluted and add to your plants. It will increase the promote, it promote the flower growth. So you'll get a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables if the pollination goes very well. And for calcium thing, you can add uh, eggshells, egg powder, and all those stuff. Yeah, the one thing I don't know whether you heard it or not, dilution. Mm -hmm. See, diluting your fertilizer to 1 to 10, 1 to 100, whatever the ratio that it has to be diluted, it is most important. Otherwise, it will burn your roots. So please careful with whatever the, the fertilizer you're trying to apply to your plants. Good. Uh, next question, I, Ramani Gita, I think Valala already answered that. Let me go down. Um, is there a blog? I, blog, I think again. Okay. Uh, Ramani Gita again asked one question. Is there a blog or YouTube channel to follow regarding this topic? I don't want to promote my own channel, but uh, definitely there are a lot of YouTube channels are there. You can do a Google search. I do have a YouTube channel, but I don't want to use this platform to promote my channel. So. And I think again, Uma Panisalam asked one uh, question. Is there any source in Texas where we can buy Panja Kavya or Panja Kavya? Yeah. The red tea. Panja Kavya, we, uh, we, don't, uh, we don't have any source, but we we personally doing it for our use. We used to get uh, cow dung and cow urine and all those stuff, but we don't have any. We, <laughs> we, we are in the stage of bringing it. Uh, we are working on it, but today, as of today, there is no panjakavya ready for you to buy from out of the shelf. Uh, but that's something in progress. Yeah. Thank you. And um, the three G, uh, we were talking about the three G: ginger, garlic, and green yeah. chili, right? Mm -hmm. What is the portion the three G should be? That's an extra question. All equal oh, portions. Self equal. Equal, it's an equal portion. It has to be boiled and it has to be. Filtered. You have to crush it. Uh, yeah. Just use a grinder, a uh, mixer grinder and crush it and uh, add it to a water. We won't get a urine, right? Uh, the cow urine. So you can, in India, they will use to boil in a cow urine with uh, anil leaves and then they will uh, spray it on a thing. But here we won't have that option. So just crush it, add it to water, boil it to, to the half of its consistency, how much you add water. Just add water till it's immersed. The, the mixture should immerse in the water. And then leave it overnight. In the morning, you can strain and dilute to 1 is to 1,000 milliliter. 1 is to 1,000 milliliter, okay? Just make that point. <laughs> 1 is to 1,000 milliliter. So and then one, for 1 liter, you have to add one, one very, uh, drop. Or that is enough. You have to apply frequently. That's the matter here. Because one time you can apply and no, I already applied, nothing is working. You have to be on top of it to spray continuously to, until you get rid of the pest. Okay. I think the next question is from Vignesh. I think one and And also one more thing, don't do it in the sun time, uh, in the afternoon or it should be applied early morning or in the night. Don't do it in the daytime because it's really going to burn your plants. The next question is from uh, Vignesh. I think Valala already answered that. Um, are we going to get this kind of uh, you know session periodically? And another question is, can we get the slide, Viji Anand? Because they said they missed. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I will. I will definitely uh, share the slides. And I think Valala sent a note. Para, please give your channel name here. Um, so with your permission, I will put it here. Yeah, I think Valala already answered. We just started, not much in that, but we started, we'll be reporting Okay, and the next question is from Soumya. Drip irrigation, could you please yeah. give some ideas or tips 
on how to get started with this. Tara so, will be a good person for this because he take care of all hard work in the garden. So drip irrigation, you know, there are there are multiple ways you can do it. How much uh, you know, uh, how much of uh, uh, plants that you have and uh, how at what length and uh, what space you are going to do the drip irrigation really matters. But what I have done and I've recommended to some of my uh, friends is uh, um, if you are doing it in your backyard, okay, you, you, there are zones for the sprinklers. If you are taking one side of the backyard for your gardening, try to take one zone, particular zone, and try to get the sprinkler water itself feed to your irrigation and set and adjust the time accordingly and if you have an option to add another zone in your sprinkler system just create a new zone and then set up that zone for watering your plants and drip irrigation is another uh, it's, it's a very simple process with uh, with within um, uh, less than hundred dollars I, I can tell you you can finish your complete irrigation it is an it is a pretty simple and easy process i will explain you um, there are videos I, will, I, will, I can share with you later or I'll put it in the chat here. You can look at it and you can do it. The most easy is use the sprinkler system. If you don't want to use the sprinkler system, connect the uh, faucet, the, the, the exterior, um, the hose, hose connection faucet, right? The plumbing faucet. Uh, connect a hose pipe to it and put an automated timer switch to attach to that faucet and then run that hose pipe to your garden bed, uh, irrigation is there pipes. You can do it. Pipe is there to the dripper water. The dripping, dripper water, there are black pipes are there, there is a uh, drip hose pipes are there, there are different type of hose pipes are there, you can use it. Yeah, I think Valala provided some information on that as well in the okay. chat, we can get okay. more information. And uh, next question is from Srinath, I think he's facing some issue with rabbit. Uh, any oh. pointer on preventing rabbit from eating away the plants? Rabbit, the better way is to you eat the rabbit. <laughs> I, I didn't expect this answer <laughs> <laughs> because because I, I I'm I'm like uh, I'm, I went to the core of trying all the different options to get rid of them and finally now what I'm doing is like in my backyard I I went to an extent to seal every small gaps and space like uh, uh, like six inches to one feet under the ground okay not above the ground it's under the ground actually we so, pl we planned uh, we planned our garden vegetable garden with that type of uh, fencing method fencing only method, but, but still, somehow they found a way to go inside but what happened we left other place for them to roam around but they ate all the roots plant and all the climbers everything so now we very we got frustrated see, and started people to people pull said that uh, they, they don't like marigold smell so Place some marigold in it. It came and ate my marigold and it went happily. Okay. Yeah, they, so even things, chilies they are eating. Chilies so. they are eating. So it's taking care of everything and people recommend to put some chili powder so that it doesn't come. Nothing worked. Okay. The best way is try to have the chicken wire fence, what you have, what you get in Home Depot or Laos, cut that for like one feet or um, like uh, six inches, put it around the fences and staple it. That is and one option and dug inside and put it under the ground also so that it, it cannot bite the chicken wire and it can come inside that is one option second is try to uh, um, have some um, uh, forks and things like that in your bed in your containers so that when it try to get into it it will poke them it will try to get away from it and these are the simple ways that you can get rid of bunnies Permanently, only chicken wire will help. Yeah, the fox urine and all that. If people are interested, definitely you can go for that also. Uh, people, people, people well. put human hairs, human hairs into the garden. So bunnies don't like the human hair, so it doesn't show up. These are all the different things are there. But I, I'm going for what normally a common person can do. That's the ideas I'm giving. But there are extreme ideas. You can go for that. Yeah, I think Valar also gave some suggestion. Uh, try, you know, fox uh, urine to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and one more question. I think uh, this is from uh, Zoom. We have one question in uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, I think one of our team members asked, what are the thoughts of using grow bags? What are the... Grow bags. Oh, right. Plants. Grow bags. Grow bags. Uh -huh. Grow bags. Yeah. Asking I think the oh, question... Do you want to know more bags? about the grow bags? Yeah. Okay. Okay, grow bags is nothing but it is made of like a, a cloth, 
um, a, a, a very normal bag kind it's of a structure, easy to, easy move, to around. move around. If there, if you think uh, the weather is dropping today, like at uh, at thirties tonight, okay, because we haven't hit that spring, full spring now, right? Uh, well, the weather is fluctuating. Uh, uh, the advantage of growing things in grow bag, you can easily move like a container and you can keep it in your garage and you can put and it, it back. And it saves a lot of space. A lot of space it saves and it takes only the water and the soil for the plants to grow. For example, in a 4x4 four four bed, think about the, how much of soil, compost and fertilizer that you're going to put and finally you end up growing like four plants, right? The so four plants is much bigger for a 4x4 four four bed. Uh, otherwise, smaller. It's, it's much smaller. Um, there are a lot of other spaces which you can optimize, right? In that case, the grow bags will really help. Yeah, it's it's more like a container, but only main thing is it's allowed the roots to air prune it by itself. By itself. That's the only advantage because air pruning makes the plant to grow healthier and vigorously, where the plastic containers won't allow that. Allow the that. roots will get bonded. What happens when the roots touch the uh, edges of the cloth? the air and the light will tend them to penetrate deeper to the darker area. So that is the air pruning method. That's the method. air pruning, automatic air pruning method that takes place in the grow bags, which will not happen in your containers. Because containers is closed, no air will go inside. So there is no option for them to aeration. So they will get into twine like a, like a circle yeah, it and like then a they get root bond and you will end up with sick, uh, sick plants. The okay. growth will stunt. Yeah, thank you. The next question is from uh, Kalyani. Uh, we are in dilemma whether to go for high raised bed or flower bed in the ground. Any suggestion? What she said? Uh, you are in a dilemma of going for a flower bed or a raised bed. Yes. Okay. In so, the yeah. okay, the raised bed. There is two options. We just keep changing. If you if you stick with your plant garden plan, you can go with a. Flower bed, that stone. I think you are referring to a stone. The stone, stone aging, aging bed. If that is what you are uh, talking as a flower bed, um, then go for it. That's a that's, that's a permanent, a permanent, uh, permanent structure that you will always have. You can grow within that flower bedding structure itself. Um, okay. So the the. The color of 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 the the color of the color of the Raised beds are nice height to two feet. Panna bolu. Ninga nene nene. Ninga romba guni chipan. Ninga panni muti bolu, mudu bolu. Na illa amma oralau ko guni chipan oralau ko ninga set panna. So it depends on your need na. Unga unga need na. Yebara naal ninga guni chipan. Ninga ondo flower bed lower panna muriya na nikringlo. Go for it. Illa ya raised bed increase panni panna na nikringlo. Just go for it. Yeah, raised bed has that advantage where unga lala ondo flower bed lala you can't raise it. So correct. And next all the unga lada advantage. Nandri. Next question, I think you already answered. What is the good source of uh, nitrogen uh, fertilizer for leafy plants? I think we covered this, right? Yeah, fish oil, worm casting. Worm casting, fish oil, uh, seaweed. Seaweed. Uh, 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 this uh, compost. Compost. How to protect plants during winter? There are two types of plants. One is the plant in this area. The other one is the plant in this area. The other one is the plant in this area. The other one is the plant in this area. There are many tropical plants. We have an 8th zone. The root is studied in our plant. For example, the root is studied in our plant. For example, the root is studied in our plant. If you look at the ground, the root is very hard. If you look at the tree, the tree is very hard. Next spring, the tree is very hard. The tree is very hard. If you look at the tree, the tree is very hard. The tree is very hard. The tree is very hard. 
அதெல்லாம் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா வந்து முருங்க 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 கூட சம்டைம்ஸ் நீங்க பெரிய மரமா வச்சா கிரவுண்ட்ல வச்சா வந்து அது ரூட் வந்து நல்லா குடிச்சிட்டு வருதுன்னு சொல்றாங்க பட் நாங்க पर्सनலா பண்ண கர்வேப்பில கர்வேப்பில எல்லாமே வந்து ஏனா நம்ம ஜோன் 8ல இருக்கதனால நம்மளோட குளிர் வந்து அவ்ளோ டீப்பா போல லாஸ்ட் வீக் போல லாஸ்ட் मंथ போன மாதிரி அவ்ளோ ரொம்ப டீப்பா போல நமக்கு குளிரே இருந்தாலும் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு 2 hours 3 hours தான் வெதர் டிப் ஆகும் உங்களுக்கு பாத்தீங்கன்னா அந்த மைனஸ்ல போறது சோ நீங்க நம்ம டிராபிகல் பிளான் தான் வளர்க்குறீங்க முருங்க இதெல்லாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா முக்காவாசி கண்டெய்னர்ல தான் வச்சிருப்போம் நம்ம எல்லாமே வந்து நீங்க வந்து எய்தர் வின்டர்ல வந்து கராஜ் கீப் பண்ணிடுங்க இல்லனா கிரீன் ஹவுஸ் வெதர் ப்ரூஃப் கிரீன் ஹவுஸ் உங்களுக்கு வந்து வெறும்னே வந்து நீங்க வெறும் கிரீன் ஹவுஸ் மட்டும் போட்டு வச்சீங்கன்னா அது வந்து கோல்ட் ஃப்ரேம் சொல்லுவாங்க நோ இட்ஸ் நாட் அ ஹீட்டர் ஆர் எனி திங் இட்ஸ் அ கோல்ட் ஃப்ரேம் நீங்க கிரீன் ஹவுஸ் வந்து உங்களுக்கு ஹீட்டர்ல இருந்து ஹியூமிடிட்டி கிரீன் ஹவுஸ் வந்து வெளியில நடக்கும் இல்லன்னா நீங்க வின்டர்ல வந்து கராஜ்ல வச்சுட்டு லைட்ஸ் போட்டுருக்கோம் நார்மலா நம்ம லைட்ஸே போதுங்க நாட் லைக் க்ரோ லைட்ஸ் எல்லாம் தேவை இல்ல நார்மல் எல்இடி லைட்ஸ் வில் க்ரோ குட் நாங்க அதுதான் யூஸ் பண்றோம் நாட் பர்டிகுலர் க்ரோ லைட் எல்லாம் நாங்க எங்க பிளான்ஸ் வச்சது இல்ல நார்மலா அந்த லைட் பல்ப் தான் வாங்கி வி கீப் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா லைட் பல்ப்ஸ் நன்றிங்க அந்த கேள்வியை கேட்டவர் வந்துட்டு சிவா ஆறுமுகம் நெக்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन வந்துட்டு ஐ திங்க் தே ஆர் ஆஸ்கிங் விச் பிராண்ட் we can suggest ஐ திங்க் we cannot suggest brands what brand என்ன எதுக்கு soil க்கு சொல்றாங்களா plants சொல்றாங்க tomato seeds or green chili கே எல்லாம் என்ன டைப் ஆஃப் सीड्स வேணா என்ன மாதிரி வாங்கலாம்னு சொல்லலாம் பிராண்ட் இங்க நிறைய நம்ம ஊர்ல வந்து நீங்க நீங்க கூகுள் பண்ணி பாத்தீங்கன்னா டெக்சஸ் க்கு தனியா வந்து சில டெக்ஸஸ் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் வெப்சைட்ல வந்து சில பிளான்ஸ் எல்லாம் லிஸ்ட் அவுட் பண்ணிருப்பாங்க ஏன்னா அதெல்லாம் வந்து இங்க இருக்கிறவங்க நல்லா க்ரோ பண்ணி சக்சஸா வளர்க்கறதுக்காக சில வெரைட்டிஸ் வந்து அவங்க லிஸ்ட் அவுட் பண்ணிருப்பாங்க நீங்க அங்க போய் பாத்தீங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு எல்லா நாட் ஓன்லி டொமேட்டோ அண்ட் சில்லி எல்லா வெரைட்டிக்குமே உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் என்னென்ன வெரைட்டி என்னென்ன நல்லா ஹீல்ல இருக்கிறதுலாம் அங்க வச்சிருப்பாங்க வேணா லிங்க் வேணா நாங்க வந்து அந்த ஸ்லைட்ல வேணா போஸ்ட் பண்ணுங்க நான் நான் ஸ்லைட் நான் கொடுக்கும்போது பாலா நான் என்ன பண்றேன் ஐ will try to give maximum reference links and links and materials and information நீங்க போஸ்ட் பண்ணும்போது அப்படியே கொடுங்க அத so it will be easy for them to go and check the details அது உண்மையில ரொம்ப வந்து liberty or juliet or something ரொம்ப நல்லா போடு நல்லா டொமேட்டோஸ் நல்லா வளரும் அப்படினுவாங்க நீங்க அங்க டெக்ஸஸ் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் இதுல போய் பாத்தீங்கன்னா you will get detailed information அது வந்து ரொம்ப ஈஸியா ஏனா இங்க வளர்ந்து சக்சஸ் ரேட் ஆன பேர்ல வெரைட்டيز மட்டும் தான் அங்க போட்டுருக்காங்க சோ நம்ம வந்து எக்ஸ்பெரிமென்ட் பண்ண வேண்டாம் அத வாங்கி அத பார்த்துட்டு நம்ம வளர்க்கலாம் சரி ரெஃபரன்ஸ் சொல்றீங்க நிறைய பேர் வந்து எங்க வாங்கலாம் ஏது வாங்கலாம்னு சொல்லிட்டு அது கொஞ்சம் இது ப்ரமோஷன் ஒன்னு வந்து சீட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இந்தியா சீட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஆர்கானிக்கா நம்ம நார்மலா இங்க லவ்ஸ் அங்க ஹோம் டிப்போ நம்ம லோக்கல் நர்சரிஸ்லயே கிடைக்குது ஆர்கானிக் சீட்ஸ் இல்ல உங்களுக்கு வெரைட்டி ஆஃப் சீட்ஸ் அப்படினா ரேர் சீட்ஸ் அப்படினு ஒன்னு இருக்கு பேக்கர் கிரிக்ஸ் அந்த சீட் கம்பெனி நல்லா இருக்கு எம்ஐ கார்டன் சீட்ஸ் கம்பெனி நல்லா இருக்கு டெக்சஸ்லயே வந்து நிறைய நர்சரி சீட்ஸ் நம்மள மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபார்மர்ஸ்லாம் லோக்கல் நர்சரிஸ் இருக்கு நீங்க கூகுள் பண்ணீங்கனா நிறைய இது கிடைக்கும்ங்க இட்ஸ் a vast area you can you can go to farm அந்த பிராண்ட் நேம் எல்லாம் கொஞ்சம் கிளிக் பண்ணலாம் ஓகே இன்னொரு ஜஸ்ட் பாலா one second bala just to add on the tomato seed so we were talking about like which variety is good right so i have done a little bit of research and and growth attempts this year uh, so the aandam one the texas aandam university they have uh, introduced a variety called hit master okay the variety name itself called hit master okay so uh, yeah i mean you need to google it to see where you can get the seeds i'm going to try this year to see okay. how it because usually the tomatoes in summer won't produce here in texas weather because uh, you need a optimum temperature of like between 75 to 85 here sometimes it touch 100 here so you won't get it i mean you won't get any yield at all during the summer and just to mitigate that uh, uh, thing right so they have introduced a variety called it's uh, introduced by uh, texas a and i mean it's a hybrid variety of course uh, the variety name is heat master so getting the seeds itself is hard i mean i was trying to get the seeds since uh, january and i just got it like 12 seeds 6 dollar or 7 dollar something like that uh, to, just 12 seeds. i'm going to try uh, i mean just to give a information i mean this is not yeah, a proven, just post in there yeah I'll so this is not a proven result somewhere. yeah this is not a proven result but yeah i mean i can oh, let fine. you know yeah let's uh, next year like how the heat master variety is going to perform yeah 
எனக்கு <laughs> 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 Is there any specific store, store pathi detail there? What is the style, soil to get for 20? Garden soil will be good. Garden soil or raised bed soil will be good. Unless until you have acid, acid, uh, acidic plants like blueberries, blackberries, and the mari will be normal. If you have blueberries, you have a little soil that is acidic. You can add peat moss or coffee gums and you can add peat moss or coffee gums and you can add peat moss. அதிகமாயிருக்கும் <laughs> அவ்ளதான் <laughs> நம்ம எடுக்க முடியாது நம்மால மண்வெட்டி மாதிரி எடுத்து போட முடியாது பட் ஆனா நல்லா டிக் பண்ணி டிக் பண்ணி யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் நெக்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन என்ன அப்படினாக்க இது பார்த்தோம்ல சன்லைட் பார்த்தோம் இல்லையா என்னென்ன டைப் ஆஃப் பிளான்ட் பிளான்ட்க்கு எவ்வளவு சன்லைட்ன்ற மாதிரி அழகு வேலன் ஒரு கேள்வி கேட்டிருக்காங்க டு யூ ஹேவ் எனி கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் ஃபார் ஈச் பிளான்ட் ஹவ் நல்ல क्वेश्चन நல்ல क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली கார்டனிங்ல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஷேட் ஷேட் பிளான்ட்ஸ் இருக்கு நிறைய சம்மர் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் பிளான்ட்ஸ் இருக்கு ஃபால்ஸ் இருக்கு எதுவா இருந்தாலுமே மினிமம் ஃபோர் ஃபோர் ஹவர்ஸ் சன்லைட் வேணுங்க எந்த பிளான்ட்டா இருந்தாலுமே ஷேட்ல வளர்ந்தாலுமே ஃபோர் ஹவர்ஸ் மினிமம் வேணும் ஷேட்ல நீங்க வளர்க்கறதுலாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா கீரை வெரைட்டி எல்லாமே வளர்க்கலாம் நார்மலா வந்து சம்மர்ல கூட கீரை வெரைட்டி வந்து வெண்டைக்காய் கீழே எல்லாம் போட்டா கீரை எல்லாம் நல்லா வளரும் வெயில் அதிகமா தேவையில்லாதது எதுவும் தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டா போதும் மத்ததெல்லாம் நீங்க ஃபோர் டு சிக்ஸ் ஹவர்ஸ் நீங்க வந்து சன்க்கு நீங்க விட்டுடலாம் நீங்க ஒருத்தாங்க <laughs> 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 என்னென்ன த தவறுகள்லாம் பண்ணுறோன்றது ரொம்ப தெளிவாக சொன்னீங்க ரொம்ப நன்றி மெட்ரோப்ளக்ஸ் தமிழ் சங்கம் சார்பாக அனைவருக்கும் நன்றி இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய நிகழ்ச்சிகள் வந்து ஏற்பாடு பண்ணிகிட்டே இருக்கோம் உங்களுக்கே தெரியும் புது இசி கமிட்டி வந்துட்டு நிறைய ஐடியாஸோட வந்துட்டுருக்காங்க நிறைய நிகழ்ச்சிகள் அண்ட் தாரா அண்ட் சரஸ்வதி நிறைய இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் நீங்கள் வச்சுருக்கீங்க அதுதான் சொல்லணும் அரை மணி நேரத்தில் என்னால் வந்து எதையுமே டீட்டெயிலாக பேச முடியாது அதனால கொஞ்சம் எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் ஆகிடுச்சு மக்களுக்காக நடத்துகிற ஒரு ப்ரோக்ராம் தான் ஒரு முப்பது நிமிடங்கள் அதிகமா போனது வந்து ஒரு தவறு இல்லைன்னு தான் நினைக்கிறேன் நானும் ஒத்துப்பாங்க அப்படின்ற நம்பிக்கையில் அவர்கள் சார்பாக நானே சொல்லிட்டேன் அதான் இது அடுத்து என்ன மாதிரி நிகழ்ச்சி எல்லாம் பண்ண போறோம் இதோட தொடர்ச்சி என்ன அப்படின்றது வந்து மக்கள் காத்திருங்கள் எங்களுடைய அந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷனுக்காக நாங்க விரைவில் கொடுப்போம் அண்ட் மீண்டும் அனைவருக்கும் நன்றி முக்கியமாக நம்ம தாரா அண்ட் சரஸ்வதி அவர்கள் அதுக்கப்புறம் நிறைய நேயர்கள் வந்து கலந்துக்கிட்டாங்க ஸோ நிறைய கேள்விகள் நம்ம நல்ல இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் எல்லாம் கேட்டிருந்தாங்க அதுக்கெல்லாம் நல்லா பதில் கிடச்சிருக்கும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஏற்கனவே சீட்ஸ் வந்துருச்சு ஸோ யாராவது காய்கறிகள்லாம் வந்ததுன்னா எங்கள் வீட்லேயே கொண்டாந்து கொடுத்துட்டு போங்க ஸோ அதனால் அனைவருக்கும் நன்றி சொல்லி இசி கமிட்டி அண்ட் ஜான் அண்ட் சவடா அண்ட் செந்தில் அவர் தான் வந்து இங்கே நம்ம லைவ் ஜூம் அதெல்லாம் பார்த்துக்கிட்டாரு 
ஸோ அவருக்கும் நம்ம டெக்னிக்கல் டீமும் போட்டுட்டு மற்ற எல்லாருக்கும் நமது நன்றியை தெரிவிச்சுப்போம் நீங்க அந்த பண்ணுங்க இதுக்காக நீங்க தாரா அண்ட் சரஸ்வதி ஏதாவது நீங்க கடைசி ஏதாவது சொல்லணும்னு ஆசைப்படுறீங்களா அதுதான் இந்த இந்த ஒரு செஷன்ல வந்து இந்த இந்த டிஸ்கஷனை முடிக்க முடியுமான்னு கேட்டா கண்டிப்பா முடியாது நாங்க ரெண்டு பேருமே வந்து வி ஆர் வெரி மச் இன் டு திஸ் கார்டனிங் நிறைய பேருக்கு வந்து இண்டிவிஜுவலா வீட்டுக்கு வந்து எங்க கிட்ட கேட்டு கொஸ்டின்ஸ் கேட்டு செஷன்ஸ் மாதிரி வீட்லயே மீட் அப்ஸ் மாதிரி எல்லாம் நாங்கள் வச்சு பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கோம் ஸோ வி ஆர் வெரி ஃபிளெக்சிபிள் அண்ட் ஓப்பன் உங்களுக்கு நாளைக்கு எதுனா வேற எதனா மீட்டிங் செஷன்ஸ் இருந்தாலும் ரீச் அவுட் பண்ணுங்க வி ஆர் ஹாப்பி டு ஷேர் அவர் நாலேஜ் சேம் டைம் நாங்களும் கத்துட்டு இருக்கோம் நிறைய மீட்டிங்ஸ்ல இருந்து So we are happy and flexible. Thanks MPS, John, Bala, Vallela, Vettri, all of you for giving this chance for us. Nandri, Nandri, Pala, Tara. You are talking about the one round of talking about it, but you are talking about it. 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 Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, of course, like, this is a gardening for beginners. Gardening for beginners. Gardening for beginners. We are talking about it. 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 இப்போ எங்களோட அடுத்த இது என்னென்னா வந்து இண்டிவிஜுவல் டாபிக்ஸில் வந்து வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு கோ டீப்பர் அதில் வந்து வி மைட் பி லைக் நோ அந்த இப்போ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் கார்டன் பேட் எப்படி ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறது அந்த மாதிரிலாம் கொண்டு வரலாம் அடுத்த வருஷம் எப்படி அந்த கார்டன் பேட்டை மெயின்டைன் பண்ணுறது கார்டன் பேட்டில் வந்து ஆர்கா ஆர்கானிக் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் பயோ மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் இது வாட் இஸ் இந்த எர்த் ஓம்ஸ் அண்ட் அதர் பயோ இதெல்லாம் வந்து ப்ரொடெக்ட் பண்ணுறது அப்படின்றத பற்றி இன்னும் டீட்டெயிலாக செஷன்ஸ் இன்னும் நிறையா டாபிக்ஸில் வந்து செஷன்ஸ் வைக்கிறதா வந்து பிளான் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் அண்ட் மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட்லி நம்ம இது இதனோட நோக்கம் என்ன அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வந்து பல நீங்கள் கேட்ட கேள்விக்கான பதில் இது நோக்கம் என்னென்னா வந்து நூறு டாலர் இரநூறு டாலர் ஐநூறு டாலர் கூட நம்ம கார்டனுக்கு ஸ்பெண்ட் பண்ணுறோம் அவ்வளோ காய்கறிகள் நமக்கு வருதா அப்படின்றது வந்து இல்லை ஆன்சர் கொஷின் ஆன்சர் வந்து இல்லை ஆனால் அவ்வளோ அவ்வளோ பணத்துக்கான ஒர்த்து நம்ம நம்ம குடும்பத்துக்கு நம்ம தரமா அப்படின்றது வந்து கண்டிப்பாக ஏன்னா வந்து இப்போ ஒரு காய்கறியை வந்து நீங்கள் வீட்டில் விளைய வச்சு நீங்கள் சாப்பிட்ற ஒரு காய்கறியாக இருந்தாலும் அதனோட குவாலிட்டி அதாவது வந்து பெஸ்டிசைஸ் போடாமல் வந்து வளர்த்துருக்கீங்க ரெண்டாவது வந்து ஃபெர்டிலைசர்ஸ் போடாமல் வளர்த்துருக்கீங்க இதெல்லாம் வந்து போட்டு வளர்க்குறதால நமக்கு தீமைகள் தான் நிறையா இருக்குது இந்த இந்த இது ரவுண்டப் மாதிரியான கலைக்கொல்லிகள்லாம் வந்து போடாமல் வளர்த்துருக்கோம் அதில் உள்ள கெமிக்கல்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து அந்த காய்கறிகளில் அந்த உணவுப் பொருட்களில் வந்து சேருது அது நம்ம உடம்புக்கு தான் வந்து வருது அதெல்லாம் நம்ம இல்லாமல் வளர்க்குறதுக்காக தான் இந்த இது போட்டிருக்கோம் அது இல்லாமல் வளர்த்த காய்கறிகளை நாம் சாப்பிடும்போது நம்ம குடும்பத்துக்கான ஆரோக்கியம் இருக்கா அப்படின்னா கண்டிப்பாக இருக்குது அதனால தான் வந்து நான் ஆரம்பத்தில் வந்து கொஞ்சம் ஃபெர்டிலைசர் அதனால் போட்டு கொஞ்சம் என்கரேஜ்மெண்ட்டுக்காக வளர்த்தால் கூட நாளடைவில் வந்து நான் என்னுடைய போதைகளை என்னென்னா வந்து வீட்டில் வளங்க வீட்டில் வளர்க்குறத வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் நீங்கள் வீட்டில் வளர்க்கணுன்றதுக்காக வளர்க்காதீங்க ஒரு ப்ரின்ஸிபலோடு வளங்க அதாவது ஃபெர்டிலைசர்ஸ் போடாதீங்க கலைக்கொல்லிகள் போடாதீங்க இது ஃபெட் இது பூச்சிக்கொல்லிகள் போடாதீங்க போடாமல் வளங்க அது பரவாயில்ல பன்னீஸ் அண்ட் அதர் ஈகோ சிஸ்டமுக்கு வந்து நம்ம வந்து நம்ம சாப்பிட்டு போவோம் அதை பற்றி கவலைப்படாதீங்க பி என்கரேஜ் நீங்கள் எவ்வளோக்கு எவ்வளோ கார்டனிங் இப்போ தோட்டத்தை போய் நீங்கள் வந்து பார்க்குறீங்களோ அந்த அளவுக்கு தான் வந்து உங்கள் தோட்டத்தில் உள்ள பயிர்களும் வந்து சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கும் உங்களுக்கு ஈல்டும் நல்லாயிருக்கும் நீங்கள் ஒரு மணி நேரம் காசு செலவு பண்ணுறதால உங்களோட டைமை வந்து கார்டனில் செலவு பண்ணுங்கள் அதுதான் வந்து முக்கியமான இது தாரா அகெயின் உங்களுக்கு நன்றி குறிக்கிட்டு மன்னிக்கணும் ஒரு நல்ல பாயிண்ட் சொன்னீங்க அதில் என்ன அப்படின்னாக்கா ரெண்டு விஷயம் அப்போ அதர் தான் மணி ஒன்று வந்துட்டு கார்டன் அண்ட் குக்கிங் இஸ் டூ நோ மெயின் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் பஸ்டர் ஐ மீன் ஃபார் மீ ஓகேவா ஸோ அதனால கார்டனிங்னால நமக்கு ஹெல்த்தும் இம்ப்ரூவ் ஆகுது இல்லைங்களா அது ஒரு கண்டிப்பாக ஸோ எல்லா இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியில் இணைஞ்ச எல்லா புது கார்டனர்ஸ் தமிழ்ச்சங்க மெம்பர்ஸ் எல்லாருக்கும் வந்து வாட்ஸ்அப் குரூப் வச்சுக்கோம் வாட்ஸ்அப் குரூப் ஃபுல்லாகிடுச்சு ரெண்டாவது வாட்ஸ்அப் குரூப் வந்து ஆரம்பிக்க போகிறோம் அதில் வந்து ஜாயின் பண்ணுங்கள் எந்த கேள்விகள்னாலும் கார்டன் ரிலேட்டட் கொஷின்ஸ் எந்த கேள்விகள்னாலும் கார்டன் குரூப்பில் கேட்டாலும் இல்லை எங்களுக்கு இண்டிவிஜுவலாக மெசேஜ் அனுப்பிச்சு கேட்டாலும் கண்டிப்பாக கேளுங்க ஏன்னா வந்து உங்களோட கார்டன் வந்து எங்களோட கார்டன் மாதிரி நேரம் கருதி நம்ம இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை போட முடிச்சுக்கிறோம் ஓகே அண்ட் ஒன் மோர் நிமிஷம் நிறைய பேர் கொஞ்சம் இல்லை கொஸ்டின்ஸில் ஆன்சர் பண்ண முடியல அவங்க நம்ம குரூப்பில் அவங்களுடைய கொஸ்டின் வாட்ஸ்அப் குரூப்பில் போட்டிங்கன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் கார்டனிங் குரூப்பில